this is Revelation 18 and 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of a bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhwah Kadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. And Shalom to the one third of Yasharala, Israel, who today are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. And before losing their true heritage, were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. Now, in this lesson, I want to go ahead and get into some of the sorceries of Babylon the Great. And this is going to be kind of a long, uh, it might go into a two part session. Uh, I don't want these videos to get too long since I know um, those are harder to watch. But um, one thing I want, I, I the spirit got on me to, to look into this this week was um, looking into the uh, sorceries of Hollywood and I'm talking I'm refer referring back to the uh, term of, of of the Hollywood and particularly what I've heard about how Akima always saying Hollywood goes back to the word the holly tree right and because the holly tree is a magical uh, tree well I knew this was uh, true but I wanted to look more into it so that way I'd, I'd have more more detail so I want to introduce you to Nemi Italy now this is a volcano crater and it actually uh, is a very sacred place to these Edomites. Um, Caligula, the Roman Emperor, used to uh, uh, sail his boats here and it was pretty trippy. Uh, some of the other things that they did here as far as sacrifices and whatnot, but uh, let me continue. Now, Nemi is a town um, in the Albane Hills overlooking Lake Nemi a volcanic crater lake it is six kilometers northwest of the literature basically it's 19 miles of uh, the Vatican or the Rome right now the thing about this is Nemi means Hollywood as in the uh, holly tree right it tells you here the town's name derives from the Latin Nemes or Hollywood in antiquity, the area had no town, but the grove was the site of one of the most famous Roman cults, the temples, that of Diana Nemeranus, a, a study of which served as the seat of Sir James uh, Fraser's seminal work of the anthropology of religion, the Golden Bowl. Now, back to uh, the temple here, the Temple of Diana. Uh, this is what makes it so uh, holy, or this is what make what made the holy tree so holy to these people. Now, let me go ahead and read what are the attributes of this tree, which was found originally all around this this volcanic crater where they had the temple of Diana. It says holy can be used in consecration and in spells for material gain, physical revenge, beauty, protection, especially against light, lightning, uh, luck, and dream magic. Holly can also be utilized in any ritual related to death and rebirth and sensational mystery because holly burns very hot. It is suitable for fire festivals. And that's what these Edomites do, right? They always do these fire festivals because they're ultimately worshiping Satan. So they... they or Baal when you go back into the old uh, ancient days when they used to do child sacrifices. Now, let me continue, it says, Hollywood makes very good wand, which can be used to banish unwanted en entities and command, e command evoked spirits. 
So that's that's where the uh, term Hollywood comes from. It comes from the Roman word nemi or, or, or Latin word nemes. Now the reason why we have Hollywood over here in, the, in Babylon the Great or the United States is because again Babylon the Great America is just Rome reborn again. So just like back then they had a place where they would do their main uh, worship of their goddess Diana they're gonna have a, a same place over here with worship Diana over here now if you go here uh, this lake is actually referred to as the mirror of Diana if you remember in uh, like the Disney movies where the sorcerers and the witches are talking to the mirrors uh, this is another uh, reference uh, Diana, which goes back to Ishtar, um, ultimately, um, this is where it ultimately was at here. This temple used to look like this, right? This was back in about 300 uh, BC, 500 to 300 BC, circa, around that time. This is what it looks like today. Now, back in these, th in, in the day that they had these temples, they were ultimately worshiping Ishtar. Uh, or, you know, they, at this time, they referred to it as, as Diana, but this is w what the Romans were worshipping Ishtar as, but ultimately it goes all the way back to the Babylonian queen, who was the wife of Nimrod, who was the first king to rebel against uh, the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahashai, about 200 years after the great flood, uh, which our forefather Noah uh, lived through. Let me get back and, and, uh, I want to read this to show you, just like today, you have a, a sacrificing of a, a, these crazy uh, stories about all the craziness that goes on in Hollywood, you also have the same thing going on back there in Nemi, Italy, uh, namely at the Temple of Diana. This is just one of the uh, rituals that they would do there. It says, the bloody ritual which legend ascribes to the Turek Diana is familiar to classical readers. It was said that every stranger who landed on the shores was sacrificed on her altar, but that when transported to Italy, the rite of human sacrifice assumed a milder form. Basically, they started just work, uh, sacrificing bulls and whatnot. Um, now, and that was the thing. Uh, when when people would be caught swimming over here, the, uh, the uh, people that were... Um, at the temple, they they would uh, go around and basically wait for people to come to shore, and they would take them and sacrifice them, right, to Ishtar or Diana, as they called it. Now they still do; they still have ceremonies today, where around this lake, rituals going on. And actually, in these, there's a photo here that shows the ceremony. Now, basically, right here, it tells you how every year uh, pilgrims. Uh, gather around the lake with with uh, candles to commemorate the ancient ritual to honor Diana. Now they don't mention about how it was, you know, they would wait for the next person to come onto shore, the stranger that wasn't a, wasn't part of the city or whatnot. But uh, you know that just shows you that they still do it till today. Now I want to read this this uh, this right here to you. This is Matthew's four and ten. Then says Yahweh Shai. Unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him shalt thou serve. And that right there tells you, right? And it's also the first commandment, right? That there, thou shalt have no other God other than me. See, these heathens, these heathen Edomites, just like today, back then, they were worshiping uh, um, Ishtar, right? The whole woman worship. And that's just how it is today in modern Hollywood. You have woman worship and stuff. Now, what, now I want to focus on this on, Nem, on this Nemi Lake and kind of just go into some of its uh, its trippy background. Now, this guy here, you know, he says that he comes from one of the original families there. If that's true, that area there, uh, Nemi, uh, goes back to the to the Latin, right? The original. Uh, land of Latins who basically when you when you go into its deep history you find this guy here King Latinus right now this guy here is actually mentioned in the Bible as one of the Edomites or one of the Dukes of Edom 
known as Duke Lotan, uh, mentioned in Genesis uh, 36 and 19. And he lived about, he lived at 1217 to 1180 BC, uh, it says. Now I did another video on this if you want to uh, go into it. You go ahead and uh, either pause the video or just kind of go through my videos and uh, you can see my lesson I did on this. Now, back to uh, this video. And stuff like that. Is that where your family goes back to from the 1300s? Yes, yes. They, uh, what happened was, uh, well, with, with Lori, her family is from, uh, some from Naples and the other are from Sicily. She, she comes from Sicily, but for my family, they originated from Lake Nemi and then they gradually moved towards Naples from there. Right. And, then, and um, from Lake Nemi is, uh, we actually call it um, Diana's Mirror because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an old volcanic crater that's now a lake. And when the full moon shines on it, it looks like, you know, Diana's Mirror, you know, from the goddess Diana. And there's an ancient temple alongside of it. Temple of Diana. You can see the, the ruins are still there now, and, and that goes back thousands of years. When uh, Caligula, in at the earliest century AD, he he renewed that temple. And uh, he, <laughs> I mean, that, I can go down a, a whole rabbit hole with him too. Yeah, he, well, it's fascinating. Well, well, supposedly with Lake Nemi, you know, well, he I don't know for sure with him, but this is the story supposedly. I know for sure my family has been protecting secrets and I have learned through my spirit guides and through the watchers, we call them the glory. I have learned over time that Lake Nemi at a certain spot in the lake underneath and the interdimensional beings can be contacted. There's, another, there's like an, uh, some kind of stargate or... And he's basically just referring to demons. Just how uh, the witches of today, they summon these demons to do their will. Back then they used do the same thing except you know they just happen to do it at this one particular part in the uh, uh lake portal beneath the lake and it's in, like i'm thinking something's even in prison there somewhere deep underneath the ground mm -hmm. because mussolini and caligula both went mad building tunnels underneath that lake wow. and <laughs> the craziest thing is it's like 19 miles from the vatican and it's the it's Italy's best kept secret. No one talks about it. I mean, it's the most beautifulest volcanic crater. That's a lake. There's wild strawberries growing alongside it. The outbound hills and the mountains all, all along. It's the most beautiful lake yeah, in the can, world. You can see like it, you must be able to see the lake from a whole bunch of like all around. The, yeah, there's an elevation yeah. all around the lake that you can see down into it. And Benevento, the town alongside of it. I mean, it has ancient statues for Diana. The whole the whole place is like a gothic temple for moon worship i mean it's still like that today it's beautiful and um mussolini had built all tunnels underneath it and caligula and i think it was like he died around like 40 or 50 a.d yeah but around yeah and he was like uh he had these two boats like uh supposedly he had made he had con con contacted these interdimensional beings and and they are descendants of like what the Bible calls the Watchers as well, and that's what Diana was as well. She was it's like a fallen angel. She was a moon goddess, and she you're not supposed to seek these these beings out. When it is time, they will come to you and they will give you knowledge. You're not supposed to seek them out and make deals with them and talk to them. And I think that's what Caligula had done, and he received some technology from them. He had these two ships that were on Lake Nemi like massive barges. One was dedicated to Diana and Isis, the Egyptian moon goddess Isis. And the other one was had buildings on it and supposedly holograms and different kind of cement and, and like uh, these buildings that they didn't have until thousands of years later. And like, you gotta research it. The, the, the two boats that Caligula had on, on Lake Nemi. Yeah, they're like 2,000 year old pleasure craft, right? Like, didn't you have yeah. fucking marble on there and like the rotating yep. statues and a hot tub and like all kinds of statues shit? Statues would move. The statues would move and supposedly you would wave your hand over some of them and a hologram, like a, a being, they, they said it would be like a moving goddess, but to me that sounds like a hologram. Right. Huh. You know, and, and supposedly, you know, he, he went mad from, he would be staring at the moon for hours, muttering, you know, and, he, you know, spirits possessed him. Wow. And it was on Lake Nemi, you know, and Mussolini did the same thing. Now, now Mussolini, would, that, and now those ships got burnt in World War II, right? 
Yeah, and, and I think Mussolini had drained the lake and they appeared, and then later on the Germans had burned it in like the 1940s. But uh, they were discovered earlier on, and then, you know, the, when they drained the lake, they, they had got, I think some, I think maybe the hull or something is in a museum in Lake Nemi, near Lake Nemi, alongside somewhere, but everything else is gone. They drained that fucker? Yeah, well, they, it yeah, was they built, drained, they, I think it was built with a fucking tunnel, wasn't it? Back in... Yeah. Like well, they, they had made like an aqueduct or whatever it's called under Yeah. yeah. And that's about it. So this right here is kind of a, a description of what's going on on there. But as you can see, notice how how he said that Caligula, who uh, um, was mentioned in uh, in the in the Book of Daniel. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he's meant. Well, his kingdom is mentioned. That is. He isn't directly, but the uh, Roman kingdom is, which he would be, you consider like the fourth uh, emperor of, right? He reigned from 12 AD to 41 AD. Now, he had built these massive ships on this lake. Now, this, and he did that. Now, notice it said they, he, uh, he dedicated one to uh, Ishtar, right? Now, why is that? Because he ultimately knew that it goes that it's not Diana that they're really worshiping, it's Ishtar that they're worshiping. And you know, and noted, and they gave um, Caligula uh, all these uh, modernized technologies, just like they do today, in modern, and, and, our, and with these modern day witches, right? They get this advanced technology. If you look into like the nuclear weapons and, and all this advanced tech, uh, a lot of these inventors are, are, are sorcerers who get all this tech from um, uh, from seances that they do with demons. Now, let me go ahead and read this. This is Jeremiah 25 and 6. And go not after other gods and serve them, and worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do you no hurt. And that's exactly what these Edomites did it do, right? They actually, you know, they're out there creating these massive boats, right, doing the, uh, the you know, with, with the works of their hands to, uh, to worship other gods. Now, that's why the Lord, uh, that and other reasons were the, which is the reason why the Lord brought down the Roman Empire, Empire right, the pagan Roman Empire, who did it with the hand of Jake uh, to do it. Now, I want to go ahead and uh, talk about uh, the, the lake. So, like I had said before, right? Uh, the holly. Tr if you look at these forests or these dark green uh, trees, these are all holly trees, right? And that's why uh, this place, um, or that's why the holly uh, tree has been known to be so magical, is because of this particular lake known as Nemi, or within the town of Nemi, or the Lake of Nemi. And the reason is because they had the temple of to Ishtar or the temple of Diana right there and this translated is basically the reincarnated uh, nemesis of Italy this is the nemesis of, of uh, Babylon the Great which is Hollywood right you would basically say Hollywood in Italian you would say it nemesis I think that's good for right now so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the uh, other details lined up for the next video and uh stay tuned for part two so i'll mock you hope this video was edifying until next time